Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 8 tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about the blade components. Components provides benefit to section and layouts. There are two approaches to creating components. Uh, first is a class based components and second is anonymous components. To create a class based components, we have to use the make component artisan command. Okay, so let's create a class component. So switch to the command prompt. And here, let's type the command php artisan space make colon component space component name. Okay, let's say component name is head. This command creates two files. Okay, so first of all, and press enter and run the application. So just write here php artisan. Uh, sir, okay, all right. This make a component command uh, will create two files. One file is created inside the app directory. You can see app views, and here is, uh, inside the components directory, you can see here the header.php file. Okay, this is the component class file which has render method by default. Okay, this render method and this uh, components render method just return the header view. All right, and second file which is created inside the uh, resources directory, then views, and here you can see the components directory, and inside this you can see here the headers.blade.php. Okay, this is the header template file. All right. Now let's write here some text. So I'm just going to write here inside the h1 tag. Uh, just add here. This is header component. Okay. Now save this file and. To display a component, we have to use a blade component tag. Uh, okay, so just go inside the blade template file. So I'm just going to welcome blade, and here inside the body tag, just add here the blade component tag. Okay, blade component tag start with a string x dash. Okay, so just write here tag x dash and component name okay so enter here the component name which is header so just write here header and just close this okay now save this file now let's check this so switch to the browser and just refresh this page and you can see here the component header component and you can see here the message this is the header component okay now pa uh, let's pass some data to the components okay so for that go to the welcome.blade.php file and here uh, let's add the name and inside this just enter the name let's say sir side media okay now save this file and uh, go to the header component class file so just go inside the app views components and just open this header.php file okay and uh, here let's create a variable so just write here public dollar name okay and inside this constructor just pass here dollar name okay and here is right dollar dollar this arrow name is equal to dollar name okay now save this file and just go inside the header.blade.php file and here just add the tag with h3 and 
let's uh, print this name variable okay so just write here uh, access this name okay so just write here hello and inside the double curly bracket just write here dollar name okay now save this file and let's check this so switch to the browser and just refresh the page and you can see here hello sub site media okay you can also pass the data from the controller so let's see how we can pass data from the controller so first of all let's create a new controller okay so switch to the command prompt and here for creating new controllers just type here php artisan make colon controller controller name let's say controller name is product controller okay now press enter run the application just write here php artisan sir okay now press enter now go to the product controller so switch to the project and just just open http and controllers and open this product controller okay and here let's create a function so just write here public function and function name let's say function name is index and inside this uh, just create a variable so i'll just write here dollar roots this is a variable and create an array so just write here array and pass some element here so just write here mango orange banana apple and pineapple okay now just return the view here so just write here return view and view name view name is welcome so just write here welcome okay this view name welcome and here just pass the this array okay so just write here compact and inside this fruit okay just copy this variable and paste here without dollar sign now save this file and go to the welcome.blade.php file and here uh, just add here colon fruits is equal to just pass here dollar fruit okay now save this file and uh, now go to the header component class file and here let's create another variable so just write here public dollar roots and pass here inside the constructor dollar roots okay and inside this function just write here dollar this roots is equal to dollar roots all right now save this file and now go to the header.blade.php file and here just add s3 roots r okay and just add here ul tag so just write here ul and inside this ul use the for it so just write here for it and dollar roots edge dollar root okay and here just add the li tag inside this li tag double curly bracket and add here dollar root okay 
now save this file and now modify the welcome route so just go to the web.php file so just go inside the routes and open web.php file and just modify this welcome route okay so just remove this this callback function and here just add the controller name product controller so just write here product controller okay and also add here this use app http controllers and sorry this one product controller okay and here just add the colon colon class comma function name so just in right here inside the single quote function name which is index okay so just write here index okay and uh, also provide the name so just write here the name product dot index okay now save this file now let's take this so switch to the browser and just refresh the page and you can see here its name okay so in this way you can create and use blade components laravel 8 so that's all about blade components in laravel 8 so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching